Hi everybody, it's Kelly with Pookie and Bell, and today we're going to show you how to make a Second Amendment tumbler as well as apply a handle. So let's get into the supplies you're going to need. Okay, so there's a lot of moving parts to this one, and I'll try and list everything in the description as well. So if there's some things that, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't have, um, you can get them or at least find them and um, otherwise I'm sure you can find things around your home or studio that you can use in place of the things that I use. You certainly do not have to have all of these things to create this tumbler. So to start, um, you're going to need your tumbler. I use a 30 ounce from uh, Stainless Steel Depot. Um, and the handle I got off of Amazon. It is a 12 gauge shotgun um, cabinet handle. And I believe they come in a four pack. I could be wrong, it may be two, but I think it was a four pack. Um, you will also need some JB Weld, that is very important. It will not work to use E6000 or super glue or hot glue or anything to adhere this handle. You're going to want to uh, get it on there and it to stay so that your customers don't pick up their tumbler and the handle fall off. So JB Weld, just the original, is what you're going to need for this project. You'll of course need some alcohol, alcohol ink, some paint, um, red spray paint. I don't care what kind you use. It could be Rust-Oleum, it could be Krylon, it could be Bayer. Um, it can be so, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm so sorry. So. Um, you can pick any red spray paint that you like and prefer. Um, you can use a torch or a heat gun. Either one works, doesn't matter. Um, I started using the final sand that's in the white tube with the FS on it there. Um, that um, I used that to prep my cups. Uh, I got that idea off of um, Flynn Sisters Boutique. Um, she uses it to prep her tumblers and I started using it and it's fantastic. It's so much easier than sanding your tumblers down and then having grit and debris all over when you're epoxying cups. So it's a much nicer way to prep your cups and I'll show you all of that as we go through this tutorial. Um, I do use stone coat for my quick coat. No particular reason other than they were having a sale so that's where I got it from. And when I do my final coats, which you will not see in this video, I use Pro Marine. Um, I just didn't want to bore you um, completely to death. All right, so here we go. We're um, just going to wet the tumbler down. I use, you can use really any Brillo pad. I wouldn't get one that's like too coarse. Um, I just put a little dollop on there but oh, way too much on this one but about a dime size and then you just scrub it do a really nice sand um, and get all the grime and everything that uh, from manufacturing that comes on the tumblers off Once I'm done scrubbing it, then I just dry it off with a paper towel. Right here, I put some Dawn dish soap on there and um, just washing it off. Habit, and um, it hasn't been a bad habit, so I just continue to do it. Okay, so let's take it outside. Um, now I'm just gonna spray paint it. Uh, I dried it off. Uh, with this Rust-Oleum um, red spray paint, it is glossy, it takes a little longer to dry, so that's the only bad part, but Lord, it's been hard to find any matte or 
uh, satin, even spray paint. But I just uh, give it a quick coat and you don't, I find that I don't have to put a second coat. Um, you'll see why a little bit later because this is kind of a distressed looking tumbler. Um, the red coats it really well and I don't have to um, apply multiple coats. Now I let my uh, tumbler, because it is glossy paint, dry overnight, but once it's dry, we are on to the step of applying the handle. So I just take a sanding block and I scuff up um, the bottom part of the handle where it's going to adhere to the cup. Just to make sure there's no grime on there and it doesn't have any buildup of the paint that kind of came already on it. So I'll take my JB Weld, and this again is just the original JB Weld. Um, I have tried E6000, super glue, hot glue, uh, Gorilla Glue, all kinds of adhesives, um, epoxy adhesive, everything to put these handles on, and they all pop off. And we toss them around, bang around, and see you know what's going to work the best, so that we can make sure when we sell them that the handles are going to stay on. But the two-part JB Weld original is um, what we found works, and they don't come off. And my husband actually knocked over one of the tumblers the other day, and it had a concrete floor and that landed right on the handle, and it's on there. So you add kind of like your epoxy. You have two parts, and you want to add equal parts. I don't weigh this out. I just eyeball it. Um, you've got the white and like a dark charcoal kind of blackish uh, colored goo and I use a popsicle stick from Dollar Tree and then I just mix the two up not for any certain length of time just until there's no longer any white no longer any black until it just makes an even gray color before I apply it to the handle. And when you're applying these handles, you can put them on any tumbler. You can do the 20 ounce, um, the 16 ounce. You can put them on whatever you want. I apply mine about a half inch down from the top rim. And um, this tumbler, since it is tapered, it's it fits a woman's hand, but a man's hand would not be able to kind of fit through um, because it, they're so shallow since they are cabinet handles. So it's more just kind of for the look and the aesthetics but <clears throat> you still want to make sure it's going to stay on so after i get that mixed up really good i just take a big blob of it and um, put it onto the handle now you will when you press it onto the tumbler it kind of oozes out around the sides and you want that um, so that it's just really going to adhere to that tumbler and i don't sand anything on the tumbler um, or the paint or stuff it up i just eyeball where I want it, make sure it's straight, and stick it on. Then I'm going to wait 24 hours um, minimum before I do anything else with this tumbler to ensure that the handle is completely secure. When it does ooze out around the side in 24 hours, you can touch that up with the acrylic paint, appleberry paint, you know, whatever you want to do to match red. You can even spray a little bit of spray paint on there if you want. Okay, so here we are about um, 28 hours later, and the handle is secure on the tumbler. So you can see how you can, I can fit my fingers through there, um, but a man's hands would not fit that well. We're working on something, trying to get where we can get a little bit more distance there between the handle and the tumbler, but um, that's all work in progress. So, um, Moving on now to the flag and the Second Amendment Bill of Rights um, strips that you put on the tumbler. I found these online. To... 
So once I get all these pieces torn out, and I will speed this process up for you because otherwise it's going to be painfully slow and we all don't have that much time. But I'll just take my torch and set them on fire. I'll burn the edges a little bit and blow it out and then just um, kind of get the little embers that are still lit on the edge of the paper and just tap them off with my finger and stuff until I kind of acquire the rustic look that I like. I tear um, the flag portion of this down far enough to where it the entire thing is staying up at that top part of the 30 ounce tumbler where that taper goes wider. Um, it just makes it easier when you're mod podging it if you're not going down into that curve in the center of the tumbler. I, I hope that makes sense but We'll get through this where we get these all turned and all the pieces burned. You can use whatever pieces you want. You can burn them as much as you want. You can do it how you can put as many as you want on the tumbler, as little as you want on the tumbler. It is really up to you. You can add glitter. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so here I'm just going to rip off a piece of freezer paper to squirt my paint out on. Um, I'm using a little Mod Podge. You don't have to use the dishwasher safe. That's just what I had here, so that's what I used. Um, and I just brush some on my tumbler, nice thick coat, and then apply my flag portion on there. And then I cover it really, really well in Mod Podge. And when you're going around it, if you feel like you have any air bubbles or anything under it, then um, I push those down with my brush. And you can kind of see that right there because in that curve, it'll kind of want to lift up. So I keep working with it with the Mod Podge until it's getting the paper really wet so that I can press it down and it adhere to the tumbler. So I just continue to do this on all of them, placing them wherever I want. I'm sorry, I'm kind of out of frame there. I'm trying to look at the camera and look at the, the view to be able to kind of see the, what you're seeing and still make the tumbler for this customer without messing it up. There's a little corner on that one that was a little square because it was up at the top of the piece of paper. So I just burnt off that that corner to get it where it looks more dis. So once you get to paint, I use Apple Barrel's um, metallic gold and metallic silver. And pick whatever brush you want, lightly dip it in the paint, and distress your tumbler. I just swipe it back and forth and have at it. I used some white here, regretted that later, and ended up just kind of rubbing it off with my finger. Um, and re redoing that area and just the gold. Gold tends to be my favorite when it's going to giving it that aged, distressed look on the tumbler. Maybe it's because there's some gold on the handle and the color of the paper and stuff. I just feel like it looks the best. I'm sorry if you can hear my husband upstairs. He's our microwave blue fuse and he's taking it off the wall and he's loud. Really, really loud. Good lord. He may just be killing it. Just killing the microwave. I'm not sure. I don't even know if it's salvageable at this point because I don't know why it would sound like he's taking a hammer to it. Who knows? Once we get to this, then we take the tumbler over to the turner. And this is where I use my, um, quick coat and you can use the alumilite uh, is that what it's called alumilite i don't know anyway um 
amazing clear cast, quick coat. Oh my God, say that 10 times real fast. But anyway, you can use any quick coat that you want um, to put on your tumbler. Here, what I do is I take a chip brush. They're super cheap. You can get them at Home Depot. I got mine on Amazon. There was like 30 of them in a package for like $5. Um, and I just swipe on whatever color alcohol ink you want. I pick out the darkest one that I have and then where you can see that it's kind of like it went on because you know how alcohol ink is if you've ever worked with it you put it on the brush and then oh you got too dark of a spot so I just dip it in my little um, rubbing alcohol and break that up which if I would lower it down you could see it better come on Kelly thank you so I just uh, put some alcohol on my brush and then swipe it over that to kind of thin it out and that helps. Um, some people use black spray paint, but I hate it. If that comes out in a clump, um, it's a lot harder to correct and fix. So I just use a really dark alcohol ink and swipe it on there to give it that distressed, aged, old, dirty look. Okay, here we are, finally. <laughs> Excuse me, fighting my cough, you guys. Boy, am I fighting it. So here's the quick coat that I use. It's really, really thick and I I cut a bunch of it out because I'm stirring it for like what feels like an hour but it was probably a good five minutes of stirring this epoxy to get it mixed really well and then um, I just dump it on and again this is like 24 hours after after I did the alcohol ink I wait like 24 hours then I throw it on the spinner and um, go in to put the first coat of quick coat on it. I do take it and dip my fingers in it and rub it around where the handle is connecting to the tumbler. And I put it on the outside of the handle, underneath and around the post of it to really get that coated really, really well in epoxy. And I'm using about 20, 25 mLs of epoxy on this first coat. I would have preferred to actually have used a little bit more. I put four coats of epoxy total on this tumbler. I'll do one coat of the quick coat, and then I will follow up with, I use um, Pro Marine epoxy and I will follow up with four coats over the next couple days um, with this tumbler being in front of a heater you can see there I'm rubbing it on the handle but I will do all of that four times quick coat the first one pro marine regular uh, tabletop resin for the next four coats in front of a heater kind of speed up the process you could do additional coats of quick coat. It's just more expensive. So I like to save my quick coat and just use it for tacking all of this down and then continue on with my regular epoxy. I would never do this tumbler if somebody wanted it on a rush because it just won't ever turn out. I think that's how it goes with rush tumblers. So I get this um, coated on there and then I ended up just leaving it overnight because this was late already and um, and you see how thick this epoxy is it's crazy because it wants to pull off my glove and like with the pro marine I don't have that problem but trying to put this coat on it just it was driving me crazy because I kept them to trying to pull my glove up with the other hand <clears throat> but eventually got it all on there and then I just let her spin the next morning when I came down I went ahead and put that next coat of pro marine about 12 hours later after it was in front of the heater it wasn't tacky to the touch anymore and I put the second coat and then on day three another two coats and then I let it sit for three days before it was off to the customer Thanks for watching, you guys. If you have any questions or comments, post them below and I'd be happy to help you out or um, answer anything I can. We'll see you in the next video.